Hi, I wanted to make a video going over some issues I've had with some OWC products. Back in February, I purchased this OWC kit. The kit had an external uh, SSD USB 3 enclosure and a 1 terabyte SSD. Now, the idea of this kit is you would buy it. Uh, for me, it was for a Mac Pro. So you would open the Mac Pro, take out the factory SSD, which is is here. You would then put in your one terabyte SSD, and then with the enclosure, you would get your one terabyte, your um, existing SSD, pop it in, and then in my case, I was going to have a 250 gig uh, high speed good quality SSD that I could use for a backup drive or whatever else. Now, um, the product was a kit and it cost me just over a thousand dollars from Mac Fix It Australia. So uh, I bought that back in February and I haven't had the greatest experience to be honest. So uh, what's happened is uh, originally I got the SSD, uh, popped it in my Mac and uh, did a fresh install of Mac OS. So the SSD was in my Mac Pro, fresh install, copied all my programs and stuff across. I then ended up um, using it for maybe a month and I did notice a couple of issues. One issue was the um, SSD using something like the Blackmagic um, disk test. I noticed the SSD wasn't exactly as fast as my original factory SSD although it wasn't too bad. Um, yeah, so it worked. It just wasn't as good, not by too much, but it just wasn't as good as my factory SSD. But anyway, I was happy enough with that. So um, I'm using it for a while and the machine starts having problems. I start getting kernel panics and uh, random glitches. Now these all seem to be graphics related when I was like, watching a 4k video or whatever so I assumed that the problem was the graphics card so I took the original SSD um, put it back into the Mac and then took the Mac to Apple Apple ran some diagnostics and came out that my graphics card had failed or one of the two graphics cards in the Mac Pro had failed so uh, I asked them for a refund and even though the machine was a couple years old three four years or whatever they gave me a, a full refund so I got my refund and I ordered a new Mac Pro. Um, in the meantime, I didn't have a computer. I had to wait about two weeks. So I got the one terabyte SSD and popped that into my MacBook Pro. Now my MacBook Pro is the 2015 i5, a gig of RAM uh, machine, and I was unable to watch uh, 4K YouTube video without everything stuttering and uh, once or twice, I think it actually completely locked up and rebooted. So I just kind of assumed that the Mac book wasn't as good at watching video and you know maybe it can't do 4K. I get my new high powered uh, Mac Pro in. My SSD goes into the Mac Pro. The SSD that came out went into here. And I start using the machine. Um, now I kind of didn't use the machine all that heavily but maybe a month or two ago, I started doing some video editing. And I realized that the computer was struggling to keep up with editing video. If I edited a 4K video, um, I couldn't really play, or I, I couldn't get anything close to smooth video playback in the little, um, uh, like the preview window. After I'd exported it, it worked, but the, you know, actually going through it was a real pain, like to edit the video because things would kind of freeze. And the machine every now and then would just kind of lock up, kernel panic, and just reboot, which was really frustrating. But I kind of ignored it. Um, and then recently, like two, two or so weeks ago, um, the machine would just lock up a lot and kernel panic a lot, uh, to the point now where I can't actually use this computer, uh, let it go to sleep, and then expect to be able to use it again the next day. Uh, if the machine goes to sleep, when I wake it up, it will kernel panic, it will reboot, and um, that's it. It's a real pain. In fact, if I do anything that's too strenuous on the SSD, the machine will reboot. 
So I figure I've got a dud SSD. So I'm going to um, bring over, I've had the black magic speed test running for a little bit. And um, as you'll see, about 160 meg a second. Yeah, that's actually one of the highest scores I've seen on this SSD lately. Um, initially it was higher, as I said, but it's progressively gotten worse. Um, I'm almost certain the SSD is a problem. No, actually, scratch that. I am 100% certain the SSD is a problem. I can't think of any operating system bug that could cause the SSD to drop speed from what originally was 800 and something to 100 or 75 or whatever I was getting before. Anyway, I contacted Mac Fix at Australia and they told me, um, talk to OWC. They made the product. So I had to contact... Not, so after I contacted the people who I'd given my money to, they just turned around and said, ah, contact the other guys who made it. So I contacted them and gave them all the troubleshooting steps I'd gone through that I had been in other Macs, whatever else. And they turned around and said, all right, you need to wipe your machine and do a fresh install of Mac OS and then tell us what happens. So their troubleshooting solution is to delete everything on my computer and start fresh. So I didn't really like the idea of having to do that but you know i have to do that so whatever um that's where this comes in so i decided that this would be a good time to use this nice fast ssd so i plug it in and i go to copy files and now i've spent the last few days troubleshooting and playing around with it because it also doesn't work um so what happens is and i'll stop this before my machine crashes um so what happens is here we go the uh, ssd show up here um, is that, okay, so, here's our SSD, here's a JPEG, JPEG is in the SSD, there's the file, there's the day, there's the size, safely eject the SSD, unplug the SSD, plug it back in, wait for the thing to show up, and... file's gone. The file isn't there anymore. Now, I've been playing around for the last two days. I've uh, wasted so many hours on this. The um, thing just doesn't want to retain information. I can safely eject or not safely eject. It doesn't matter. Um, I can use Windows or Mac. I can do different formatting, NTFS, FAT32, the Mac file systems. I get the same result constantly, where sometimes, like when I got these files across yesterday, sometimes I can get data onto the drive, but for 90% of it I cannot, 90% of the time it doesn't work. Now when I got these in yesterday, I had copied the stuff over and then let the machine, uh, I was plugged into my laptop for like another two hours. I think keeping it plugged in for longer helped, but I'm not too sure. Um, see like I had this today where I copied a PDF across. And it copied the name. That's it. Zero bytes. And in fact, if I delete this now, it's not going to delete. So I go delete. Yeah, it's gone. Great. Now, eject the drive. Plug it back in. And it's going to forget that I deleted the file. So, I was under the impression at this point that the problem might have been the SSD. So, I went and grabbed one out of my MacBook Air. Uh, spoiler alert, exact same thing happens. So, with this other different SSD from my MacBook Air, which works totally fine because it's running the operating system from my MacBook. I know 100% this SSD is fine. With that SSD, same deal. I copy the file across, and guess what? Ain't going to work. It's going to forget it. Um... Like this SSD, the other one, I like this SSD. Um, okay, cool. Um, so there's another, there's an error that's come up for some reason. Um, but what I was saying is, like this SSD, um, if I copy a file to it, sometimes it'll stick, the file will go there, and sometimes it, or most of the time, it just doesn't work. So if I go into here, you'll see the file I got over before. That worked. These are uh, the operating system files that were already on the laptop. They work. But when I go copy this across, it's going to be the same thing. 
I can't even copy files across to this anymore. So this has corrupted my SSD. Ah, uh, cool. Now I have to install Mac OS on my Mac on, on the air as well. That's <sighs> All right. Great. So, um, yeah, uh, that's upsetting actually. So in conclusion, this SSD works fine. Doesn't work fine in this. This SSD was running Mac OS on my laptop, one of my laptops, and now it doesn't. Now it's corrupted. Um, this enclosure doesn't work. Now, I'm going to assume that this enclosure is faulty and not that the product is bad, just that this particular one is. Uh, I'm not going to assume that I have any problem. Like, I, I assume that this is like a one-off fault or it might be a little bit common, but overall they should replace it. And I believe the next one I get will be fine. And the same thing with my SSD. I figure that the SSD I've got uh, is just unlucky. Um, I hope that I'm just unlucky and they can send me a new one and it will be fine. Uh, if you are having this same problem, you're not going crazy. If you're copying stuff to your SSD and it just disappears, it's the enclosure. So, um, yeah, I guess that about wraps it up for this video. Uh, I'm getting tired because it's almost 5 a.m. and I've had to record this a couple of times because the machine keeps crashing. Um, like, one, two, three, four, five. Literally, I've, I've copied, I've, I've recorded this video like 20 something times now. Um, there, like, there's like 20 something times I've been recording this and it stopped for various reasons. My audio wasn't working or uh, quite a few times the machine crashed when I ran the disc test, um, the black magic speed test, because that's what happens if I'm putting too much load on the SSD, the machine crashes. So yeah, that's the end of the video. Hopefully I'll get this fixed. Anyway, thanks for watching.